Okay, we're going to try the sweep surface with the draft. So again, you can find these examples here in your online documentation. If you're on V5, you can actually click on this and open the models. And you can try and experiment with them. They have default models for you to try and work with. So for a guide curve, I'm going to create a curve on the fly. So let's create a sketch. And I'll do this sketch on the XY plane. And uh, we'll do a spline this time. It's going to look just like an arc here. OK, let's exit out. We're going to create a direction, and I'm going to use Z as my direction. And I'm going to do it at an angle of zero real quick to show you what's going on. Uh, let's reverse this arrow, preview that. And with a zero degree angle, it's going to go straight up and down. So let's try and key in an angle of 5 degrees. It's hard to see that. Let's try 25. All right, you can see that from that guide curve on the top, it's going down at a 25 degree angle. Length number 2 will be 3 inches. All right, just did that to make that a little bit easier to see. So drafts are usually used for like castings or forgings or injection moldings. That'd be like plastic parts. They have two parts that are put together and when they pull them apart, they usually have a type of a draft angle so that the parts can come, come apart actually and break off from the engineering part. If they use a zero degree angle, it'll most likely jig lock. So this command would be used for creating parts that have an angle on it. Makes it easier to, uh, to get the two mold fixtures that are making your engineering part to be able to separate from the uh, actual part itself. And then uh, you usually will have like a parting plane where the two parts connect. So a more common angle for that type of situation would be a three degree angle. I'll hit preview. See, it almost looks like it's straight up and down. All right, but it has just enough angle to where we can get those parts to separate. I don't have time to show you all of these, but you have different kinds of parameters with your limit lengths. You have up to and from and extremium points uh, along a surface type of projection. So there's there's a lot here you could actually play with to experiment with all these different options. Um, I would encourage you to do that, but for time cons constraint, or because of our time constraints, I'm just going to do this one demo on how to create a draft angle. Again, all I did was I created a curve on the XY plane and a sketch. And then uh, the projection is showing the direction as if you were going to pull the mold fixture off. So this is the engineering part. The red arrow says that the arrow is going up. Uh, the arrow is going up, meaning the mold part that would come apart is going up in the, in the Z direction. All right, I hope that helps. Go ahead and give that a shot. And we have one last demo to do for linears, which is with two surfaces.